It's been one heck of a season on the National Walleye Tour. We've covered a lot of water and featured the top anglers in the game. Corey Pringle, Brett King, Dylan Newsbaum. You're a National Walleye Tour champion. And now it's championship time. This is Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world, and these are the world's best walleye anglers battling it out for the National Walleye Tour Championship. This is day one. We're on Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. We're here to find out who is going to be crowned our National Walleye Tour Championship champion. This is day number one of three, and it's not like any other event in the season. It's three days long, plus we're going to decide who our Angler of the Year champions are, both on the pro side and the co side. What's online? Three Ranger boats. It's a huge event. We've got 71 boats on the water this week. Anglers will fish for two days, then cut to the top 10 for day three. On the pro side, there's $277,000 on the line, including a Ranger Evan Rood package for first and second place. For the co-anglers, there's better than 50 grand up for grabs. You know, day one, Cabela's National Walleye Tour here at Lake of the Woods, Baudette, Minnesota. Um, excited to get out on the water today. Uh, the bite's been phenomenal. There's a lot of fish out there. The biggest key is finding those overs. Um, you know, that's what it's gonna take to separate the field. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, this is a, a cool body water. There's a lot of fish. Uh, you know, it's the biggest uh, thing that I'm nervous about is, you know, just getting that over. I think that over is so important for this tournament to make that top 10 cut for the third day. And uh, I'm not sure you can do it with perfect slot fish or those under fish, but uh, you know, I think you're gonna have to have an over to make that cut. So that's the only thing I'm nervous about. Otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Straddling the U.S.-Canadian border, Lake of the Woods is one of the premier walleye fisheries in the country. The challenge here is managing the lake slot restrictions. Anglers can only keep walleye within the 14 to 19 inch slot limit. Additionally, they can keep one fish each day over 28 inches, provided they catch one. What's really going to come into play is those 18, 19 inch fish. It's Everybody's got that idea, big one in my opinion. The 18, 19s are going to be key here. This is a body of water where you can handle a bunch of fish and you may or may not get that one to just go over 28. So um, the name of the game is trying to go through enough fish each day um, to get that over. And I feel like, honestly, I need to make the cut in order to win Angler of the Year. If I don't make the cut, it's going to take, that's what it's going to take to win here is you're going to have to go out in that top 10 on day three. So. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big hill to climb, but uh, I feel like I'm ready to do it. Gunning for his second Lucas Oil Angler of the Year award, Wisconsin's Tom Chemos is eight points behind the current leader, Joe Okada. Realistically, anybody inside the top 20 has a chance at one of the most prestigious awards in the business. Okada has been here before. This is not the first time I've been in contention, and the other times I've just fallen a little short, and it's, uh, it's something that I really, I really want to seal this deal. The minute I put my boat on the trailer, Devil's Lake, the wheels were just spinning off the hook. I mean, I, I had to put, pump the brakes for the last couple of weeks because they, the, the, you know, the thoughts and uh, the strategies and the, everything's going to a point where I, you need to take a step back, realize you're just going fishing. You're going fishing for biggins, and uh, this lake has them. It's a pretty special place. I was looking forward to coming here all year, and. Uh, this is only my second time at Lake of the Woods, and I will be back. This, is, this place is so much fun to fish. It's really so cool to see a lot of these anglers who have never been to Lake of the Woods, experiencing Lake of the Woods for the first time, and uh, seeing what kind of, uh, not only what numbers we're getting, but also what kind of big fish we're getting on this lake. It's been a, just been a ball. We're very fortunate in Lake of the Woods. Uh, we have about 60 lodging facilities. We have about 45 resorts and hotels. We also have actually 15 sleeper fish house businesses that obviously operate only in the winter. And, you know, one of the cool things about Lake of the Woods is that, you know, if you want to come here and bring your own boat, man, we, we welcome you and we got resorts that cater to you. You can make your own meals and nice cabins and things like that. If you've never been to Lake of the Woods, if you don't have a boat, if you want to just come up and test out for the first time, we have full service resorts. You know, you come here, whether it's jumping on a charter boat, whether it's jumping in with a, uh, a guide on going amongst the 14,000 islands Lake of the Woods has, or maybe it's just going out to a heated fish house. There's opportunities for everybody, whether you fish or whether you don't fish. Best way to find out about us is check out our website. It's lakeofthewoods.com.
MN for Minnesota, Lake of the Woods, MN.com. With the introductions behind us, it's time to get down to the business of fishing. Coming up, we'll launch day one of the 2018 National Walleye Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. Stay close. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. The FS Multi-Species Series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Root E-Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water-crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evan Root E-Tech. The National Walleye Tour presented by Cabela's. Brought to you in part by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Evan Rood. Proven power, proven reliability. Welcome back to Lake of the Woods, Minnesota. This is day one of the 2018 championship. We've got 71 boats qualified to be here and a combined purse of $325,000. Getting right into tournament coverage, we'll get it started with Dylan Nussbaum. Dylan, at only 20 years old, picked up the win in $63,000 at the final event of the regular season. While it's only his first year on the tour, he's been in the game for a while. Fished with my dad, a lot of local circuits, stuff like that, and uh, started branching out to NTCs and stuff like that. And we did really good on them. We got top 25 two out of the four times we went, and it's a lot of fun. But this year, um, I kind of wanted to step it up a little bit and go with the big dogs, and um, it really paid off so far. I got a first place, and that was just amazing. Getting out on the water, Dylan's pulling cranks with co-angler Scott Matheson. Today, I'm pretty much using a bunch of custom painted lures. I run Dutch Fork custom lures, and uh, this place is a uh, pretty crazy place. You have to switch out your lures a lot here, find out different colors, and if you get a color that's working, it might only work for a half hour and then you won't catch another fish on it, so um, you really got to switch them out, and I'm using stick baits, husky jerks, um, bandits, all sorts of stuff, really, I'm going to be trying today, so um, just pretty much want that slow wobble running like two miles an hour right now, so hopefully we can get some to go here pretty soon. Oh, yeah. I don't know gonna be close. That's an over. Nice. What do we got? A quarter, 28 and a quarter. You're right up quarter. against the board, right? Yep, up against the board. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we got the over. Nice. Now we can relax. Moving on, we'll check in with the 2014 Lucas Oil Angler of the Year and currently second in the standings this season, Tom Kimos. Tom's fishing with co-angler David Clamforth. They're catching fish, but that whole oh, size smokes. thing seems to be a problem. Well, it's about 9.15. We've been fishing for about an hour up here. Uh, we made a pretty, pretty long run this morning. But anyways, we've got two in the box. One's a pretty decent 17 and a half inch slot. The other one's just a 16 and a half incher. Not really what we came up here for, um, but uh, the day is young and we're just, you know, every time the wind switches, these fish relocate and we just gotta try to cover water quickly and, and uh, relocate the school of better fish here. And there, there are good slot fish here and that's why we're up here. So hopefully we can uh, lock in on them and still have enough time to go get our, our over. Heading back to Sportsman's Lodge for weigh-in. Although the majority of the field brought in a limit, it was that coveted over that made the difference. 
And despite all hopes, current Lucas Oil Angler of the Year leader Joe Okada came in without one. Today was a struggle to say the least. We went to an area where I thought I could rally some really solid unders uh, just to get the day rolling before I went big fish hunting. Um, those unders went under in size and uh, I wasn't able to connect with the ones that I was hoping to. It's a different class of fish that moved in and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to work extra hard tomorrow to make up some ground and and uh, turn this thing around and hopefully still have a shot at angler of the year so I'm looking forward to tomorrow one day at a time out here on Lake of the Woods uh, feels great to be out here on the water though checking in on the top five in the angler of the year standings on day one Brett King had the highest finish of the group with Keenan and Chemos not far behind Moving on to the top of the leaderboard, South Dakota's Rick Olson put five for 1751 on the scales, putting him and co-angler Terry Hora into third. North Dakota's Michael Olson fished with Quentin McCarthy, and together they weighed 1771, giving them second place. We got three days to, to do this and to put it together this first day. I mean, it feels really good. It gives you confidence rolling the second day, and, and we've had a good pre-fish, and, and our fish have you know stayed, stayed right where we want them to stay, and they're still active out there. So we actually had two overs today, so uh, I'm not going to complain at all at 1771, sitting in second place. and. Uh, what a day, that, that's all I can say. Coming up next, he is our reigning angler of the year, two-time angler of the year. Looks like he's got a basket of fish here. I'm talking about pro Robert Blosser from Point Point Wisconsin. Glenn Trudeau is his co-angler today and they're gonna get in here and let it settle in. That's huge, 17.75! Mr. Blosser takes the lead. That is an awesome bag of fish, sir. What is going through your mind right now? Because you are leading the best of the best. It's only day one. <laughs> uh, no, I love fishing championships. Uh, you know, you come to win, and uh, you either do well or you do really poor. Um, but you know, we're not fishing for points, and, and we're not playing it safe, so we're here to put big fish on the scales. By the slimmest of margins, Poignette, Wisconsin's Robert Blosser is sitting on top at the end of day one. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. On the co-angler side, Glenn Trudeau leads the pack. Remember, the co-angler champion takes home a Ranger boat and Mercury outboard package worth $27,000. Coming up, day two from Lake of the Woods and the 2018 National Walleye Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, I'm trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Walleye Tour presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. Mercury Marine. Go boldly. And by Power Pole. Swift, silent, secure. But at Minnesota, it's a little bit crisp this morning as the seasons are definitely changing. We're right around freezing, about 35 degrees here this morning. And I'll tell you what, after the hot fishing yesterday, who knows what this weather change is going to bring. But you know what? We're also going to see some changes in our leaderboard due to the fact that this is day number two and everything is on the line. We're going to decide today which anglers get to fish on Championship Friday. Plus, our Angler of the Year race is really tightening up. You know what? The way this is set up and the fact that anglers can only bring in one fish over 28 inches, that's the wild card. 
anybody has a shot to win this tournament and we, it is a long ways from decided. So let's get out there and find out how day number two shapes up. Checking conditions for day two. The forecast calls for temperatures to rise to near 70 with light to moderate winds. Tournament leader Robert Blosser weighed 1771 on day one, anchored by a nine pound over. Sticking with the plan, he's betting on another big fish for the win. Really hopeful and pretty confident that we're gonna get a shot at another over today uh, with a chance for another good solid bag to, to really uh, give us good position going into day three. With a surface area of over 1,600 square miles and 65,000 miles of shoreline, Lake of the Woods is the sixth largest freshwater lake in the country. And as they say, the walleye capital of the world. Getting into day two coverage, we'll keep things going with tournament leader Robert Blosser. He's fishing deep, pulling lead core with co-angler Tom Sam. This morning I'm starting off on a piece of structure and I'm using my side scan to locate where the rock starts, you know, where that transition is from mud to rock or sand to rock. And I'm trying to run that transition this morning first thing um, just to try to locate some fish and, and then we'll try to work them a little harder. If this doesn't work, uh, if I don't locate the fish here on the transition, I'm going to slide off the structure out into the mud a little bit. Uh, but the wind crashing into the face of this structure this morning, I would assume we might be able to pick up a fish or two right here and then uh, start hunting from there. Moving on, Brett King is at a good year. After a win on Saginaw Bay, he came into the championship third in the Angler of the Year points race. He's fishing today with co-angler Chris Ventimiglia. Um, actually, the day started pretty fast. Uh, we had one in the boat probably in the first 30 seconds of fishing. Um, made one pass, and we've already got five in the box. I just threw back what would have been our sixth keeper. Unfortunately, we had one of those precious upper two pounds, close to three probably, right to the net. For some reason today, these fish are must be from the cold weather this morning. They're just really swatting at it. Every fish we've caught so far has literally come off in the net. So uh, good clean netting is gonna be crucial today, the way it looks, at least here in the, in the start. And, and unfortunately, we already lost one opportunity. So we'll clean it up. We got all day. I don't plan on leaving here until um, I have at least what I had yesterday. So um, they bite in spurts. They move around on this rock flat a little bit. And, you just gotta mill around until you find them. You'll usually get one or two shots across them, and then you gotta kinda relocate that pod or another pod, so. Um, it's early, a lot of time, pretty simple. It's early on day two, and we're getting varying reports from across the lake. For many, the bite is slower, but that could be due to this morning's cold snap. Coming up, we'll continue day two coverage from the 2018 National Walleye Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. TRX, the bold new family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX, huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, extreme Triton performance. TRX. The boat for back-to-back -back classic champions. Ready to rocket you to the winner's circle. TRX. With Triton, having it all has never been so easy. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. National Walleye Tour presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Atlas Hydraulic Jack Plates from TH Marine. Minn Kota Trolling Motors, zero to fishing in no time. And by Evinrude, proven power, proven reliability. Welcome back to Bodette, Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. One of the finest angling destinations in the country and host to the 2018 National Walleye Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. This is day number two, cut day. By day's end, we'll cut the field from 71 to the top 10. Right now, Robert Blosser, the two-time and defending Lucas Oil Angler of the Year is on top, but conditions have changed and so has the bite. 
Well, here we are, day two. It's uh, about 10.30. We are at the NWT Championship in Bedette, Minnesota, Fishing Lake of the Woods. Um, feeling pretty good right now. Was leading the tournament after day one, and uh, as of about 9.40 this morning, we put a toad in the boat, an absolute Lake of the Woods giant. Guarantee I'm gonna make the top 10 cup fishing tomorrow. Either way, that's a nice fish wherever you're at. Moment of truth. Somebody's fishing tomorrow. Somebody's fishing tomorrow. Hey, give me some. <laughs> this one's a little emotional for me because I've never been able to seal the deal on a championship. And uh, I've been bridesmaid four different times, maybe even five different times now. Got to get this one done. Um, it is it is a multi-day event. You can't win it day one. You can't win it day two. But you got to be fishing day three in the top ten to even have a shot. And I think we just we just accomplished that goal. So hopefully we are fishing tomorrow. And when we do go fishing tomorrow, it's game on. Looking toward day number three, and Robert Blosser may be the man to beat. This one's a dragger. Back on Brett King and co-angler Chris Ventimiglia. New color, huh? This has got some shoulders, man. They've got a limit, but it's a small one. Fortunately, they're culling, gaining a few ounces at a time. The wind has changed directions here almost every single day since we've been here, if not in the middle of the day. So you have to go find these fish each and every day. Um, I'm just gonna go out tomorrow and go fishing and, and let them come as they come. One three cap. Yeah, we just got rid of a, about a 14 and a quarter incher with a you know one pound three ouncer. Definitely got to get get bigger. I've got one fish in the box right now that I care to bring to the scales uh, today. Uh, so I need four more bites. We got a lot of time. I got. Uh, my last two yesterday that I weighed about 12.15, so no reason at all to panic. It's just a matter of sorting through them, finding the hot pods that are willing to chew. The fish are actually starting to eat a little better. Uh, they're starting to T-bone the crankbait instead of just getting them on the back hook. That first flurry we had right away this morning, every fish we caught came off in the net. They were just nipping at it, so, so that's promising. Um, just gonna have to work through them, keep milling around on this big flat, and, and uh, just find a hot pot of the right ones that are over 18 and a half and, and uh, try to take this thing home. Brett is making a serious run for Angler of the Year. If he brings in a strong limit today, his chances are good. Drake Hurd started the morning in 15th place, midway through day two, and he's got five, including a big one pushing 30 inches. All right, obviously I'm a, I'm a little excited. It's 12.20 uh, and, we, and we got a really nice bag in the boat. i um, hoping to just get rid of one fish. Um, so I'm nervous, I'm excited. You know, you hope that you're the only one that's crushing them, but when these guys are out here and they're that good, uh, you know they're catching them too. So we'll see what happens over the next few hours. We're gonna uh, go through a time or two and then we're gonna head in. So see you later. From a brisk morning to an absolutely stellar afternoon here in the walleye capital of Lake of the Woods. You know what? It is heated up. In fact, we know that it's heated up out on the water. A lot of the anglers are catching numbers of fish and upgrading at a rampant rate. The real key here is who's going to get those coveted fish over 28 inches. We know that Drake Hurd has a big one. That's massive. That shows that you can make a move from anywhere inside this field. And everything is yet to be decided today here on the National Walleye Tour stage. It's all online. Join us next time as we wrap up day two and then bring you the exciting conclusion to the 2018 season of the National Walleye Tour presented by Cabela's. For information, look us up at nationalwalleytour.com or find us on Facebook. Sleek new design with easy control file. The clearest images underwater with uncompromising range. Live mapping from the touchscreen. View notifications, video, even Google Maps on screen. And for the first time ever, 
real-time view of fish movement with Live Sight Sonar. HDS Live, new from Lowrance. This is my spot. Right here. My thinking spot. My fishing spot. My spot, not yours. This is where I go. For release. And for catch and release. Where no one can find me. And fish can't hide from me. This is my spot. And I ain't going nowhere. 